Aran Pelek, Chief Investment Officer at investment management firm Clarity Capital, joins us now in the studio for a look at why Israel's credit outlook was changed. Mr. Pelek, thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. So please do explain what happened here. So um, a couple of days ago, I think it was on Friday, Fitch, the, one of the three main international credit rating agencies, uh, decided to change the rating outlook for Israel's credit from uh, positive to stable. The credit rating itself did not change. It's still at uh, single A. Just for our viewers, what is the difference between the credit outlook and the credit rating? Okay, so credit rating is a measure of the credit worthiness of a borrower. When, people, when, when a country or a corporate goes to international financial markets in mm -hmm. order to borrow money, people ask, you know, what should we, uh, what, sh what, should, what should the borrower be paying us? Um, and that's obviously a function of the um, specific risk uh, associated with that borrower. So the rating essentially is a measure of the credit worthiness of the borrower. The credit outlook is a measure of how the agency anticipates that that rating will change, either improve or deteriorate, over the next one to two years. Okay. And how do they come to their decisions? How do they evaluate the worthiness, so to speak, of a nation um, or, or a corporation? I mean, how do they make their decisions? So obviously, you know, it differs between a corporation and a country. Corporation, they would look at aspects of uh, business risk and financial risk. Uh, when it comes to a country, obviously, it becomes, in, in many respects, more complicated. You yeah. have to look at geopolitical factors, internal politics, the legal internal legal structure and infrastructure, and also the financial risks associated with that specific uh, borrower. And I guess on those particular points that you just uh, touched on, that's essentially where Israel fell. Is it the geopolitical risk? So yes, it has to do with the geopolitical risk. Uh, they mentioned the stagnation of the peace process. They mentioned the stagnation. Sorry, of the peace process. Yes, the which has been stagnant for how many years already? Yeah. So that's how did that change? Yeah. So that that is the background. I think what has really changed is the recent um, military operations, mainly versus the Hamas in Gaza over the summer, and you know, with the increased military expense that they forecast, and we know already, we know, but they forecast even going forward, that will continue, and therefore that has an impact on the fiscal position of the government in Israel, and they have, um, they needed to increase their forecast for the government deficit, both for 2014 and mm -hmm. for 2015, which then brought to the uh, downgrade, downgrade of the outlook again, not, not of the rating. Not to be overly cynical here, but this is a story that has been going on for, for many, many, many years. Um, you know, everybody who looks at Israel, the Israeli market, knows every now and then there's going to be an outburst, um, as long as the status quo is, as, is what it is, so to speak. I mean, did we see a, a similar uh, effect on the outlook or the rating of Israel in previous uh, outbursts, so to speak? So uh, it, it really depends. I mean, there were times in the past where it ha has had an effect, but uh, I think uh, over time, I mean, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, you have to put this in context. Mm -hmm. I mean, the other two rating agencies, both uh, Moody's and S&P, have come out in September after the summer and after the right. military operations in Gaza and have said, you know, we, we, no change from our perspective and we confirm the rating. Having said that, th their outlook was stable. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think it's one thing to say, okay, the rating is, is X, is A or A plus, A, Fitch, A plus, maybe S&P and Moody's. It's another thing, it's a stronger statement to say we think the rating will improve over the next one or two years, which I think you know, both, all three rating agencies will probably find it difficult to, to agree to that. Okay, well, it'll be interesting to see how all of that unfolds. Thank you very much, Aaron Pellick, Chief Investment Officer at Clarity Capital Investment Management Firm. Thank you, Thank you very much for joining us.